got a new delivery in from PillarGuns.com. This one from Sam Yang Industries. And uh, I know from the thumbnail, you guys all know this is for ASMR. So let's see how it actually arrives from in the box. Very plain box. All right. All right. So this is how the Sumatra comes in from Sam Yang. Uh, in the US, it comes in from Air Venturi and it comes in a nice fancy box. Um, but that's for the US. For the rest of us, we just get in this plain box. Uh, wrapped in plastic. I think the next thing to do is to take it out of the plastic and see what actually came in the box. All right, guys. So let's have a look what came in the box. There's actually two magazines, they're six shot. One's already on the rifle that they, I haven't even moved off the rifle yet. You get a second magazine. You've got your instructions, which I highly recommend reading, especially if this is your first air gun. You've got your full probe. You've got uh, two spare O-rings for the full probe, and then you have a little Allen key. Also, it comes with a little warranty card. Uh, overall, absolutely beautiful rifle. Now, these rifles have been on the market for a long time, so this is by no means a new rifle on the market. This is a 2.5 cal version. Uh, in the past, I've had the 5.5, so I was very keen to see how the 2.5 cal performed. These rifles are lever action, uh, just like that. Uh, on the bottom, they have the manometer, which you can check your air pressure. These are a uh, 200 bar full gun. Uh, the rifle is threaded, but you do need to get an adapter, uh, and Donnie FL have those adapters available, so that just unscrews. Um, to be honest, uh, the sights on these guns are really just for looks because uh, you're much better putting a scope on this rifle, ultimately. It is 500cc uh, overall, um, so you get a pretty decent shot count, uh, anything from 40 to 60 shots, uh, depending on the power setting. So these rifles have one unique feature, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, is this power adjustment wheel. So obviously if you dial to the small or to the green side, it's less power and If you dial towards red in, increase the power to help out. Guys, these guys are very loud So you will need a suppressor with these guns um, They definitely just if you're going to shoot them in your backyard You can either just shoot I mean, put on very low power or you definitely need a suppressor. I mean even at low power, they're still very uh, loud. Um, it is lever action, so you'd obviously, when you cock it, you're going to, I'm not going to cock it right now, but you're going to lever the action all the way over there, and you then close it. At the same time you do that, it automatically indexes this magazine. And these mags are, uh, you load them from the front, um, and pretty neat. They are actually made out of like a stainless steel by the looks of things and they look like they are machined. So very nice quality on that. Overall, a very nice rifle. I know lots of people say that this rifle's been out forever. Why are you reviewing it? Well, I just love these rifles. I think they're absolutely beautifully made uh, and they pretty much, uh, they work and they are very powerful uh, just as they come from the factory. Uh, beautiful wood. Uh, and the quality and the bluing, and this has still got like oil on from the manufacturer, so we'll have to give that all a clean up. A clean up. Overall, really like rough. One other thing, the safety right there, um, and this beautiful scenery, hunting scenery here, very, very, very nice. And obviously this is 6.35, so it is a 2.5 cal. Very, very nice rifle. I think the next thing to do guys is just put a scope on it, and we're gonna go shoot. All right, guys, back on the range with the Sumatra in uh, 2.5 cal, 6.35 millimeter, from Sam Yang or Seneca Air Guns in Korea, South Korea. Um, got it mounted with the Discovery 8x32x50 uh, SF scope. Pretty nice uh, optic for this rifle. Um, we're going to be shooting two pellets today. I'm going to be shooting the exact King Heavy Diablos, the 33.95 grain Mark IIs. And also the same Yang pointed hunting pair that's at about 41 grains. We're going to see how they shoot. Uh, also what I'll do is I'll, after we do some accuracy test uh, with those two pellets, 
Then what I'll do is we'll, we'll shoot on low power and high power just so you guys can see the variation in the power that you can use by just adjusting the power wheel. Um, it looks like I have the rifle tethered, I'm just not removing the whip um, just because it just wastes air leading off. So the rifle isn't actually tethered, it's just the probe is just in the rifle without me bleeding off. Alright, next I'm going to load it up and let's get shooting. Let's do the uh, exact um, King Heavy Diablos, the Mark IIs. See how they shoot. Those are the uh, 33 I gotta say it's pretty impressive, especially 55 yards. Right, got to load up with the Samyang hunting pellets, the pointed ones that are 41 grains. So they should. Right, pretty awesome. You know, those, I must say those hunting pellets seem to be hitting very, very hard, even though they're not going as quite as fast as what those JSBs were going. And accuracy, pretty spot on. I'm just going to show you guys the difference in the power wheel with uh, from on low power, and then we can move it up to high power. And I'll fire two shots, and then I'll move it up a few clicks and fire another two shots with the 41 grainers. So let's see how they uh, do it. There's no target. We're just looking at numbers right now. Alright, so the um, numbers for low power. So now I'm going to move it up. It's moved up four clicks. Right, so that was uh, kind of mid power. Now I'm going to pull it all the way to four power. Obviously we fired a few shots so the air pressure is not full, but this will just give you an idea of the difference that you can... This will just give you guys an idea of how you can adjust the power levels of this rifle, just through the power wheel. So there you have it. So now you can see that there's quite a big range that you can choose from and also it's nice depending if you're using light pellets, heavy pellets. Um, Overall, it's a very nice feature of this rifle. Alright guys, so there you have it for the Sumatra in 6.35mm. Uh, what we'll do is, uh, we'll have to get in some slugs for this and see how she shoots with slugs. So far we've seen what it does with pellets. It's pretty decent, I've got to say. Especially 55 yards. Uh, this is not a bench race rifle by any means. This is just a hunting rifle. So it's good for taking, especially in this caliber, you can definitely take some like wild boar, or pigs, uh, whichever you choose, and some smaller game without an issue. Uh, so overall, very happy with the rifle. It's a really, really, uh, really like the looks of the rifle. I must say, it's a pretty sweet brig, and I highly recommend it if you're just looking for a nice, powerful hunting rifle that's not going to be super expensive. Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good day.